Okay, this is the last example in the um, partial fraction section. So here we do not need to do long division because the numerator, excuse me, the numerator's exponent is smaller than the denominator's exponent. So what that means is that we will just jump straight into the factoring and then the um, integration. So here we're going to get x squared plus 2x minus 7 and then denominator I can factor out an x and I get x squared plus 1. Now this is a sum, dif a sum of two differences or two squares, sum of squares, which cannot be factored. So I need to start my setup. This exponent has an exponent of 1, so I only need one constant over x. This exponent is an exponent of 1, but notice that it's a quadratic function down here, which means I need a linear function in the numerator. Now if it were squared, I would need another like dx plus e over x squared plus 1 squared, okay? But I don't have a square, just have a 1, so I can stop with my setup here. Now if I multiply by the common denominator, this is my common denominator, both would cancel, and I'd end up with just the numerator. But if I multiply by that here, these are going to cancel, and I'm going to end up with ax squared plus a. And here the x squareds plus 1s will cancel, but I'll end up with bx squared plus cx. Now if I set up my systems of equations, I end up with a plus b equal to 1. I end up with c equal to 2, and I end up with a equal to negative 7. So I already have a and c, but if I plug this back in here, I can figure out what b is. And b is 8. So again, this is all my side work. I'm going to rewrite my integral as negative 7 over x plus 8x plus 2 over x squared plus 1 dx. Now, I can't exactly use u substitution because I would only get 2x, not 2x plus a constant. So I'm going to go ahead and separate this fraction. Oops, I meant to draw parentheses. And then I'm going to separate each one and I'm going to take out the constants. Actually, I'm going to cleverly take out this constant. Okay, so then here I end up with x underneath its derivative 1, so negative 7 ln of x. Here I end up with x squared plus 1 under its derivative, so I get the ln of x squared plus 1, which is always positive, so I don't necessarily need to have the bars on this one. Um, then plus 2, and the integral of 1 over x squared is just going to be 1 over 1, which is 1, and then arc tan of x over 1, which is just x. And this is an indefinite integral, so I am going to put the plus c. And we've integrated each piece, so we are done. You could use the properties of ln's to combine the ln's together, but I don't mess with that. Once I integrate it, I just write the answer in there and you're good to go. And this is the end of the partial fraction section.